So here we are out testing the adjust a wave with the 160 meter add-on. So apologies that it's uh, getting dark, um, but the only time I can get out into the garden is when my little girl is in her bed. You can see my garden is just a giant kids play area. So I've set up the adjust a wave temporarily in the garden this evening. So obviously you've seen earlier on. This is how they had the adjust wave set up from the adjust wave unit to the loading coil into the real up the pole, linear loaded, back down. Now this currently the antenna is completely linear loaded. Um and we'll have a look at the analyzer. So we're on a sweep here. So we've got a match. It's a little bit on the high side, um, but that's no bad thing. Uh, bandwidth isn't great, so if we look at that, if we look at the look at the sweep and the sweet spot, the sweet spot's actually there. It's got a little bit of a double dip. Actually, we'll take that back. So two to one bandwidth is probably. 70 kilohertz or so, but remember that doesn't matter because with the adjust wave you can just adjust, you can just adjust the length of the reel, so that really doesn't matter. Now I think I need to add a little bit more inductance onto this coil, which I will do, and um, because I don't want, because I need to have some uh, some adjustment in the reel, depending on what ground conditions you're over. And if you're wondering what I've got for a ground system, well it's extremely minimal. So I have four radials connected into the this adjust the wave essential mini. So four radials and each of them is eight meters long and they're just thrown out over the garden. Um, but all I was wanting to do with this experiment was, so this is just sort of, this is just a prototype, uh, proof of concept to see that it actually works and it is gonna work. So this this can actually get further developed now. So I'll rewind this coil um, with some a few extra turns on there. Uh, but this match isn't gonna be too good at all. So let's have a look at this again. So there we go, not bad at all, um, if I have a look at some of the, uh, it's not what it was one, uh, here we go, that's what I wanted. So on the show there you could go on it, in SWR it's sweet pot 1.44. Now you can see your, all your other parameters there. So, very, very pleased. That's been well worthwhile. And it's taken me long enough to actually come up with this, or realise it, but uh, always looking good. Um, I think the next steps is to actually get some more uh, windings on the coil, um, get it back up again, uh, add a few extra ground wires, and eventually get it on the air. But that may be, uh, that may be some time away yet. Uh, but but who knows? So thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the uh, for the next video and further developments.